let's say you've created a new scene where, let's say, for example, you have an apple. Now, this apple will save it in our main scene here or in our main folder. So here, we now have an apple in our left-hand side on the folders. Now, in our world, let's say you want to start adding these apples in random positions uh, based on a timer. So let's say we add a timer here, and we want this timer to go off and send a signal timeout and create a new apple every time. Because, of course, I could just drag in this apple, but that doesn't happen in the game, right? I want this to happen in the game. So what we can do is in our world script, which I will add now, I will connect my timer signal right here. I will go to my timer, the inspector, put it on auto start, and I'm going to delete all this. I'm going to load by saying on ready variable apple scene. I will uh, say packed scene as this is a, a packed scene and we will preload it and search the word apple. Now what I can do is when my timer comes out, what I can now do is I can a variable apple temp equals apple scene dot instantiate. This essentially creates an apple in my hand. And now what I can do is add child apple temp. Now, if I do this and I hit play, you will see that this works and you can see the apple very slightly. It's very small. It's on the top left corner. Now, obviously, this doesn't really work properly for us. So what we can do, a cool thing inside of Godot, we can edit the position of our apple before we add it. So we can say apple temp dot position is equal to vector two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to randomize the range a little bit. I'm going to randomize the range from 100 and 300. I'm going to do the same thing for the Y. So I'm just going to copy this. And now I'm going to hit play. And now every second, it should kind of give me a random apple between, uh, between 100 and 300, which is around right here. So now you can see every second I've added a new apple. So that is how you would instantiate and add an apple scene inside of code. So hopefully that helped. If it did, hit the sub button down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.